And we're back, IRB to the Intricate Gamer, and this is Clock Tower. We're about to go talk to a reporter about the uh, Scissor Men murders. Scissor Man murders. I keep saying men because the thing was talking about plur in the plural in the beginning. Oh, who do I still need to talk to in here? Do I have to go like rearrange my pocketbook and check my schedule planner and all that? Or right, what does she want now? Let's see if she wants to. You know, Helen didn't for a really beginning. Come on. To look like sisters, aren't they? Why? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in, come on, the way. <laughs> this is nothing more than a research. Come on, come on, come on. Subject. Are we done here? Alright, good. Anything else to say? I wish I had a cute sister. What? A cute kid brother would be okay too. Why? I think we should analyze this lady. She seems a little bit weird. Come on. Alright. Let's, let's go old, man. Now can I leave? Or do I gotta go, like, freaking check my petunias? There's still something to do! <sighs> I guess I gotta go check my flower decorations. In here. I check the mask. I check the stupid thing. Computers? What's that? Helen's desk. Okay. Anything in there? Alright. Sweet. I check the thingy on the windowsill. Anything over here? Anything over here? No, 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 no. What is going on? Maybe I'll check these things again. I really hate when games bog... Yeah, I know, you want a cute kid, brother. I really hate when games bog you down with stuff like this, where you're just trying to leave a room, and they're like, no, 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 check everything out. Check everything out in the room. We spent so much time writing this text for it. Yeah, I, I, I like the text, but, you know, I like to look at it my own free will, you know, come back on a second or third playthrough and be like, oh, that's the statue from the thing. I, I'd love to do that. I don't want it to, you know, force feed me this stuff. Alright, do I have to do anything else in here? Let's see, what's over here? Something's over here. This my desk? Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has done some... has gone somewhere. Alright, cool. I'll just freaking double tap everything because it keeps on holding it back in story. I hope this isn't coming to be a, a, a problem later on. All right, anything else I should know? All right, good. I shouldn't keep her waiting. I don't want to keep her waiting, but the is is he won't go. Oh, he will go now. Finally. All right, let's go in the hallway. Let's see this reporter. Which way do we go? Uh, okay, can't go that way. Up. Oh, I guess it's the reporter. Oh, professor Harris. All right, a newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first. Come on, floor. Jeez, this text is just crawling oh no um is Jennifer she's already gone home okay there's something you want to see her about he's not gonna tell me <laughs> oh he's top-notch though for sure we're gonna ah oh, come on I made the mistake of pressing the action button again come on I'm Gonna have to skip this. I'm gonna make sure the cursor's not on him anymore. I was just playing a uh, Scooby Doo Mystery for Sega. That game was just. It was just so tedious because you had to like select every action. It was like those point and click adventures when you're like a kid. Like, uh, uh, I don't know if anyone remembers uh, Spy Fox for the computer, but you'd have to like click stuff. Even that one I think was simpler than uh, Scooby Doo. Uh, yeah, I think it was the first floor. Wow, can I go to the second? Nope. Why even give me the option? Why just not... <sighs> I guess they're setting up fundamentals at this point. They're saying, like, get used to s selecting buttons and all that. Alright, here we go. Whoa, which one's the reporter? I guess it's the guy with the backwards hat and the pink shirt. My name is Nolan North. Just kidding. Uh, and this is Tim, my cameraman. Ah, oh, Tim. It's a pleasure. Bit busy, keep it brief. Please keep it brief, I can't do the scrolling text anymore. As he contemplates his life. Oh. I'll get right to it then. Let's go, come on, come on. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Uh, it's just some cycle, he was dropped. I can't say anything for sure yet. Because the victim's testimony lacks, come on, credibility. That's interesting. 
Uh, do you mean that the victim is testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? What about her? Uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her, come on, leaving a few minutes ago. Yeah, she was leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd, and since we'd run into her, we'd asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. Oh, we're trampling all over this poor lady. I know what you're going to say. Uh, that monster she was talking about, the scissor man, did he even know that? And whether he really exists. Come on. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of scissor man has become a symbol of terror among the youngsters. And that's because trashy gossip magazines like you have sensationalized the whole thing. <laughs> Not much I can say to that, is there? Come on. Well, let's start from the conclusion. This is a. This is like watching a movie. This is like literally like watching a, a Kojima production. I'm just sitting here with some popcorn, watching this this unfold and and, and just waiting for the actual action to start. <sighs> We're just dealing with some odd screwball, but what about what, uh, what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but okay, that's it. Interview's over. <laughs> she saw something. There's something I must be attending to. Okay, oh well, I understand. Let me get this cursor off him before I do anything. Thank you very much. Now you get out the way so I can go take a dump or whatever I'm trying to do. I have to get back to the lab. Why did I? I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. What? He is supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Jeez. I spent the first couple of videos we're just going to be talking, chatting people up. It's not going to get into action. That's why I like games like Resident Evil. Oh, come on and Dino Crisis because they don't mess around like right off the bat it's like you're in the business this game is like we're trying to set the stage and get you get you all hyped up and stuff like that so okay so I guess I'm not going on I guess I go past the reporters then again right, they're gone sweet so why did I go upstairs tell me yes Am I not going through there? I guess not. I thought that's why I had to get out of here. Come on. Yeah, run, old man. Can't go any further? I guess we are going to... The oh, see, if you could just click the elevator and not the button and just have the process be done with, it would be more efficient. But I have to click the button, and then I can go in the elevator just so I can click another button. I'm on the first floor. Second floor. Okay. I didn't know that. Jeez, I wasted about 20 seconds there with something that could have been taken care of in half a second. Go out the elevator. Right, let's check where this person's gonna be. This is like uh, League of Legends. I'm like clicking in front of my character to, to tell him where to go. Come on. Okay, come on. Talk to him. He's like, thinking about it. Professor, the boy that's around the clock tower, uh, the clock tower, uh, murders is here. All right. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm up here. Oh, he's arrived already. He's waiting in the therapy room. I'm gonna be in the therapy room in a minute. This game is just is is crawling to the to the point. Oh, come on, don't touch Harris anymore. Just get around, get around him. Yeah, run run in there. Man, all right, we're almost at the 10 minute marker. We're gonna have to take a break. And when we come back, hopefully we'll be done with chatting with people and we can start running from guys with daggers and stuff. Something I still need to do in here. Arg. <sighs> well, let's just start doing that real fast. What do you see, old man? What needs to be done? I can't go over here anymore. What's over here? Can we go over here? This camera doesn't change. I gotta pick up this stupid thing again. I don't know what you want from me, old man. All right, we're gonna take a break here, and when we come back, we'll, we'll all the stuff, blah 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 blah. Until next time, stupid game.